more muscle helps lower blood glucose, helps lower insulin. So if you're looking for ways to manage your insulin better, keep your blood sugar from spiking, build muscle. You can't build muscle. I don't care how much exercise you're getting. You can't build muscle if you're not improving your protein intake. Hey there, I wanted to let you know about my latest book, Body Confident, that's coming out in September 2024. Call it a critical thinking guide to your health journey because it is a framework, a guide, a blueprint that's going to help you understand and be able to filter all the information that's out there on the internet that you're getting from social media, YouTube. Go to bodyconfidentbook.com, sign up for updates. The book comes out in September. What's going on, everybody? It's Coach Bronson here. And today we're going to talk about protein, why I prioritize protein in my protocols when I work with people, and how the emphasis and focus on increasing your protein intake from whole food sources is very important to your journey and will probably help you get unstuck if you're struggling to see progress in your journey. Before we get into that, please subscribe to this channel. As always, I love talking about this kind of stuff and the more people I can share the message with, the more people I hope learn something that will help them get unstuck themselves. So subscribe, click on the little bell so that you can no get notified every time I come out with a new video and help the algorithm um, share all this information with more people all over the world. Prioritizing protein, it's something you guys have heard me say before. It's something that is super important in the process of understanding the basics of our need as human beings for nutrition. There's a couple of reasons for that, that may or may not have anything to do with what you, what you know or think about when you think about protein. Most of the time when people think about protein, they're thinking about, you need protein to build muscle. There's a couple other things to think about when it comes to protein. In the general concept of how I look at this process of health, improving quality of life and, and building, uh, improving physical freedom and independence for individuals. The idea of growth and gaining is always gonna be the overriding concept as opposed to loss and losing. I'm not worried about losing weight. I'm not losing about restricting. I'm not losing. I'm not worried about restricting. I'm not worried about trying to cut all these things out to reduce myself. I want to improve myself. I want to grow. I want to get better. I want to expand my ability to experience and engage in life. That's what this is about. This is not about getting smaller. This is about getting a bigger life. That being said, understanding that the decisions we make when it comes to nutrition should be adding to not taking away from how our body functions. Prioritizing protein is one of the best ways to add to not take away from your life. What do I mean by that? When we prioritize protein, okay, and how we do that, I'm not talking, I'm not going to tell anybody the best way that they should prioritize protein. You can figure that out for yourself. You want to have an extra meal a day? Great. You want to add three ounces of protein to each meal? Great. However, you want to add a shake in, whatever works best for you, there are things that will work and there are things that will not work. And that is for you to determine what's working better for you. Okay. All I want you to do is start thinking about how can I increase or prioritize the amount of protein I'm getting every day. Eat all the protein on your plate. That's something that I do. Number now, number one, most every plate that I have is all protein and fat. So I, it all comes together. That's how I eat it. So it's not like I have an option to choose from something that's not protein when I'm making my food choices. But if you're not all there yet and you have some veggies or some potatoes or who knows whatever else on your plate, if you eat all your protein first, especially if it's whole food sources of protein, you're probably going to be better off from some of these aspects because some of these aspects will kick in. The number one being satiety. If we're eating whole food sources of protein, we're going to get a good combination of protein and fat that is going to be the most satiating combination of macronutrients that you can eat. You will eat less fuel macros if you are eating whole food sources of protein. That means your consumption and the excess fuel that you are taking in will probably go down compared to what you're doing if you're eating processed food sources of anything else. That's a great option. That's a great thing. Here's why. Because at the same time as you're decreasing your fuel macros, you are increasing your nutrient density. Anytime we pick a food that is high in nutrition, it is very likely low in fuel macros. 
Okay. So the higher nutrition in a food, the less fuel will be in that food. So when we're looking at the choices we want to make, if you're prioritizing protein, you're going to, by default, get the three main things that we need in nutrition, nutrient density, bioavailability, and satiety. They come with it. It's built in. If you can say yes to that, am I getting those three things every time I eat my meals, then you are on the right track to improve your metabolic function. We get, oh my goodness, protein is what? Protein is highly thermogenic. So it takes a lot of energy for my body to process and utilize protein. So if I can get more protein, I can increase the thermic effect of the food that I'm eating and might see some increase in the amount of fuel that my body requires on a day-to-day -day basis. If I can do that, maybe I'll burn a little bit extra body fat every day and I won't have to worry about that as much because now I'm providing my body with what it needs. I'm making it do things that are improving its function, i.e. utilizing the fat that I have stored in my body without having to eat a lot of fat. Just increase your protein. Prioritize protein. Hmm. That's a great one. Here's another thing. What happens when we eat protein? Even if we're not working out, we can stimulate muscle protein synthesis. The stimulation of muscle protein synthesis leads to a whole bunch of other benefits, which I'll talk about, of have what, 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 what happens when we have more muscle. You know what? I'm going to skip that. We're going to come back to that because first I want to talk about hormones. A lot of people don't know. I didn't know this for a long time. As much studying as I've done and reading as I've done, it, I, I missed it somehow. Proteins are the building block for almost half of our hormones. And I hear it in the space all the time, in the keto carnivore space particularly. You got to get fat for your hormones. If you're having hormone issues, it's because you don't get enough fat. Well, guess what, folks? Guess what your thyroid hormones are made from? Amino acids. If you're not getting enough protein and you're complaining about thyroid function, possibly get some more protein. Stop starving yourself. Stop starving your thyroid from the basic building blocks that it needs to produce the hormones it's supposed to produce. You need amino acids. You need a good protein intake every day in order to produce the uh, hormones of the thyroid. Muscle protein synthesis. This is super cool. Having more muscle, and this is a secondary level effect of increasing your protein or prioritizing your protein. More muscle helps lower blood glucose, helps lower insulin. So if you're looking for ways to manage your insulin better, keep your blood sugar from spiking, build muscle. You can't build muscle. I don't care how much exercise you're getting. You can't build muscle if you're not improving your protein intake or the quality of your protein. You have to get protein to build muscle. When you build muscle, you can help manage your blood sugar and your insulin better. Fantastic thing to do if that's something you're concerned about. A lot better and has a lot more impact on your quality of life than looking for things like berberine. People looking for berberine as a a non-medical option to manage your insulin, just go build some muscle, go exercise, guys. I'm not saying berberine's bad. I just wish people would stop looking at for that as a quick fix and start looking at how do we actually make our bodies work better instead of just take something to mask and band-aid the, 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 the things I'm dealing with. Other thing that building muscle does, which is even more super cool, the more muscle you have, the more mitochondria you have the more efficient you have uh, a way of burning energy and utilizing all the stuff that you have in your body. So not only does protein increase how much energy our body has to utilize, but building muscle increases our ability to utilize it because now we have more things in our body that can use and, and require energy and, and generate energy. So building muscle requires more energy from our body. Eating protein requires more energy from our body. All the things about prioritizing protein hit a whole bunch of different areas. Enzymes, all the enzymes that are the catalysts for the, the reactions of things that we have in our body, all the different things that we do that our body has to chemically fire off all these different mechanisms, all the enzymes come from amino acids. Guys, when we say that amino acids are the building block for metabolic function, that's what we're talking about. If you are under eating protein, you are missing out on the engine and the oil. You're missing out on the oil. 
right? You got this great engine. You got all the, the, the you got, you're getting all the fat. You're not getting any carbs. Everything's great. You got the best fuel in your car as possible. And you've got black sludge that's running around in your oil because you haven't changed your oil in 10 years. Clean that thing out, put all the oil in it that you need, and you're going to be amazed at how well things run. Prioritize protein however you can, and you're going to see improvements in your satiety, in how you feel because you're getting more nutrition. You're going to see improvements in your fat loss. You're going to see improvements in your body's ability to function because you're going to improve your muscle mass, your mitochondrial performance, your hormones, all sorts of things. Protein is magic, guys. Start getting more of it. All right, guys, you know I am a fan of protein. You know that prioritizing protein is a key aspect to the fundamental concepts of nutrition. I highly recommend for those people who need the help in increasing their protein intake, Equip Foods Beef Isolate Protein Powder. They have a ton of different flavors, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, salted caramel, coffee flavor. It is the cleanest and most effective protein powder that I have ever used. 